welcome back to my channel okay today we are well we need to make some lotion <laughs> um oh look i don't know thought so i thought my phone okay my phone is messed up well it was messed up and i had to get it fixed and but it never redid the stuff it's supposed to do so none of my apps are on here which really sucks but let me just make sure i'm alive i see me i should have a picture but i, I see me um yeah i think i can only do this one I can't tell. <laughs> Need a moment. <clears throat> can't tell if I'm on or not. I think I am. Get up and say something weird. I think I'm on there. <laughs> Maybe, possibly be live, I think. I don't know. Anyways, my phone is messed up, so I can't even... The app is not on here. Today, we need to make two lotions. I am fresh out of lotion. So, before I even get started... My name is Tiana. I do all kinds of things on this channel. Following my micro life journey is the biggest thing. I have to get out my three-year lock anniversary video. Um, and then, but we do other stuff on this channel too, like DIY projects and stuff like that. So that's what we're kind of doing today. And yeah, I hope everything is okay. It's, I can't really check it, so I don't know. But I'm fresh out of lotion. No. This is me, fresh out of lotion. And it's not even to the point where I can like bang the back and get lotion out of it. This has been sitting upside down all day. And yeah, I just can't get no more out of it. Um, and if you, as you can see, I scraped the top to get the most out of it. Can't get it. So I'm going to clean this out. And I have two because I'm going to try two different kinds. So yes, yeah. so let me talk while I work so that we can make the most of our time so first I need to clean this out so that's what I'm gonna do now let's clean this one out and I really don't need to clean it out but I want to clean it out and I just bought some water so let me get the water like purified water that I have and then somewhere it was saying like distilled water so I used distilled water the last two times to see you know if it makes a difference anywho what I was saying was so my body no for those of you that know my skin is sensitive to life now let me stop but it is sensitive to a lot of stuff and so a couple of months ago, I switched up my, um, what did you switch up? I switched up my laundry detergent because somebody else was using one and I was like, their clothes smell so good. And when I asked them what they used, they said they was using Gain, right? And so yeah, so then I tried using Gain. Now I don't know why I thought as sensitive as my skin is, 
Why did I think I could try to use a different laundry detergent and it wouldn't matter? I don't know, but it didn't even dawn on me that that would be something I would be allergic to. So I'm just pouring water in here and uh, shaking it and usually it'll break the lotion up to start to come out. But I don't know why I thought, yep, so it's just breaking up and stuff. Just so I can have a fresh, clean bottle. But I don't know why I thought I could change my laundry detergent and get away with it. I'm allergic to everything. Like, why do we have to go over this all the time? But I did, and then I used that laundry detergent for so long, not realizing that the reason why I was itching, because I was itching so bad, but I couldn't figure out why. I thought it was like the perfume I was using, or the lotion, or the body wash. Even though I was using the same stuff I always use, it just didn't dawn on me that lotion, I mean, laundry detergent could be something that breaks you out. I don't know. But, here we are. So anyways, the only thing I can really use right now on my skin is Vaseline, really. Um, I tried to look up some lotions, but most lotions have some kind of derivative of coconut in it. And, or, yeah, or castor oil. And I can't use any of those for sure. But I can sometimes use a derivative of coconut. I just was, I'm just trying to stay away from everything as much as possible. I'm gonna let this sit with that in there for a little bit and I'm gonna hold it upside down. So I'm gonna let that sit in there. This one is already clean because I wanna try a different one. So, here we go. I'm not measuring anything because I don't feel like it. So I'm not. But, uh, gonna get out what I might need. Which is usually bowls, plenty of them. So I'm gonna take out three of them. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm using those. I might need this one to put on how much I do. And yeah. All right. So let's see how bad, how much you all can see. So, so I'm filling this all out. I have the water boiling, so I can do the double boiler method. I do think that Vaseline kind of is kind of like oil, so it can't be too hot because I think that makes a difference. So I'm going to turn the water down to medium since it's boiling already, and just so it could be a little hot. Like I want it to be warm, or oh, actually I'll put it a little like medium high-ish, but I want it to be warm but not boiling. Then I'm going to pour some water into these two bowls for both for the lotions, and today we're going to try Vaseline, but we're, I'm also going to try the... Um, Aquaphor, just because that's something that people with sensitive skin use. So I want to try it and see. Now, the thing that I find with Vaseline that's different <clears throat> than using like a butter, like a mango butter, or or you know shea butter or something like that, is because it melts so hot, like it gets so hot, it takes a long time for the lotion to form. So it takes a little bit longer. So hopefully you'll see the whole process, but if not, then not. All right, so with this bowl, you can't really, really see, but I then filled up like a little less than half of each bowl. So that's gonna be my lotion, my water portion for each one. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And I should put some gloves on, so hopefully I will. And this is my mixer, which I don't feel like taking out. But here is my Vaseline that I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to just use, literally use a spoon and scoop out, like, tablespoons, honestly. Hey, Sister Carolyn, how are you? How was your day today? We're going to use glycerin. Because I usually just use whatever the base is, which for me is Vaseline and not butter, glycerin, because I just really like glycerin in all things. And most of my stuff has glycerin in it. And then water, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and this, which is emulsifying wax. Now, this emulsifying wax doesn't tell me anything about what's in it. Let's see, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I really don't know what's in it. So it could be something in here that I probably may or may not be able to use, but I'm using, but I don't know. Uh, what else do you need, Tiana? The aquifer. Okay. Let me take out two spoons. 
one for the Vaseline and one for the aquifer. Right after the dishwasher. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know what's in there. And, hmm, what else I want? Aquifer. But you have to think, where do I have that at? Because I just picked this stuff up this morning. So, where? And a red bag. Let me get that red bag. Where is this red bag? I've seen it. Oh. All right. Let's see. It's in here. So, let me go get it. I didn't get too much because I don't know all the way. Well, this is my first time, and so, yeah. Let's see what's in it. I looked up to see what's in it, and let me just double check. So it has petroleum, obviously. And then inactive is mineral oil, cesarin, I don't know what that is, lanolin, alcohol, blah, 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 glycerin, stuff that I don't know. But it's not coconut, and it's not castor. So, hopefully that's okay. All right, so I'm just going to wing this, okay, and see how's it, how it goes. So I've been making the, the Vaseline one I made two or three times. And so, yeah, so I should be okay. Now, all of my pots are currently occupied, so this is the one we have here. So, well, all of the pots that I would use to do stuff. So let me get my brain on straight here. Okay. I need to mix two things. And I'm going to do the Vaseline one first. So, yeah. And this I only use for my lotion. So I'm going to get out a spoonful and I'm gonna put on some gloves because I know it's gonna get messy and and I'm trying as much as possible to keep everything sanitary so that if something don't go the way I want it to I will know it's the products and not what I didn't do. I'm good you do I mean I'm good. I'm glad you're doing well sister Carolyn. I'm doing pretty good Gotta make this lotion because I really don't have none left. So, I wonder if can I just sit these in there? I just don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put this in here. We're gonna put the water in here. We have this much out, so I'm gonna wing it and either use half or a little less than half, I'm not sure. So, me eyeballing this, we're at the little barcode here. So, you're supposed to mix the liquids together and then, oh, so that was about half. So, the liquid's supposed to melt up together. And the solids are supposed to heat up together. I'm not all the way sure if that pot can sit in there like that, but we'll see. And then, so yeah, we'll do the Vaseline portion, which I have a spoonful to start. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do two. And then for this, I feel like this shouldn't be that much either. Because I don't know what's in this. So I'm just going to take a little smaller spoon. Hey, Dad, I think I'll see you on there. Too. 
in my heart they could fit. But maybe they can't. I'm gonna take these gloves off though because because I have to sit these in the pot, I'm sure it's hot. So if I could get this glove off, I'm gonna use these. And then I'm going to bring you all down so you can see all the fun stuff all the fun stuff. And did we say that it's better with the light off? Or on off. <gasps> Oops. My stand is not right at all either. Cause it's not all the way on the floor. But I don't really have time to fix it. Alright, so that's melting, gets a little hard out. And I need to switch this. This one is the water and glycerin. I'm gonna take that out for a little bit so I can work on the uh, this part melting. I feel like that's a lot of Vaseline. Alright, so we're letting this melt. I did turn the water down so it won't melt too hot. But it doesn't take it too much longer to melt. It's so fun that the moment this mixture goes inside of the water, it instantly turns white. Like, it instantly starts turning into lotion. It's so stinking fun. Now, if it doesn't do that today, it might be because I used too little emulsifying wax. But, I didn't want to use too much emulsifying wax because, again, I, I can't tell what's in there. Alright, so we're almost done. Just a couple comes in there. Trying to get out. Then I'm trying to get out. Oh, pour some in the water. If I don't stop pouring stuff in the water, can't afford to waste this. All right. My um, little hand thing is getting hot. I'm gonna put that in really quick. It shouldn't take too much longer. This is how much we have of the Vaseline. It's not a lot at all, but it usually makes a whole bottle for me. And I wanna say sometimes I even have extra. So we'll see because it ha it's gonna get fluffy. Like it gets fluffy once you mix it in. So that's the Vaseline and emulsifying wax. This is the water. See how it, it instantly turns colors once you mix them up. But this is the water. And then I'm let that sit for a little, little, little bit while I get my mixer ready. So that's just sitting in there for a little bit. I'm gonna pour everything in here and get the mixer when I can find it. Okay. This takes a while, so my plan is, and I don't know how well it will work out, but my plan is to be mixing this while simultaneously the starting the aquaphor one. So I'm gonna put the lotion to the side. Feel this, should be nice and hot. Okay, this is my favorite part, um, which is to mix the two. So. This is acting like it's just mixing all oh, so much. Hope I'm not in your way. That's the water and... What is it? 
water and glycerin, right? And this is a hot. No. This is the. Whatever it is. I don't know. I've been teaching my students how to brainstorm. <laughs> I told them you gotta brainstorm so you don't have a brain fart. So we've been brainstorming before our writing to keep us from having brain farts, right? And I feel like ever since I taught them this concept, that's all I do is lose my train of thought. All right, I hope that's enough. I hope. If I ever feel like it's not enough, I literally will start adding Vaseline as I go. I'm just trying to fill it out and see what's what. I'm going to put this to the side because I do not want to mix up stuff. And, hmm, this can go on this, can go on this, so that we could, can, look at this. It's looking a little liquidy to me, so I hope that this is good, but we'll see. Um... Yeah, the first time I did this, there's a turbo button on here, and I literally pressed the turbo button the whole time and was wondering why it was going crazy. Well, because I had the turbo button on. And I was supposed to press this button. This one takes longer to get harder than the other one. So while that, I'm going to just keep mixing that randomly. And even if you were like to feel the bowl, the bowl is so hot. And it cannot get hard until it cools. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And then I'm going to try the Aquaphor one. And I'm going to do it the same exact way. So... We have, what did you do, Yana? I can't remember, girl. Um, <laughs> this, which I didn't mean to put this in there, actually. So, here we have the water. This was the water in the grocery store. So, I'm going to put the other water in here and put that into the pot. This in a sink. I'm going to put the rest of the glycerin in here. Oh, I thought I used so much more than I used. Ooh, definitely didn't use as much as I wanted to use. But when I oh, when I did it, it looked like so much more. Anywho, that's fine. I hope. So yeah, I just winged that and I'm going to put that in there and let that start to get warm. And then while it's doing that... We're gonna go ahead and put the aquaphor in here. So I use like two tablespoons of the Vaseline. So, and guess what? Never use aquaphor a day of my life. So, <laughs> you know, this is just a C. I don't even know if I'm all the way allowed to use it. So I'm gonna put in. I 
in order to get it off the spoon. So yeah, put the aquifer in there. And I use two tablespoons of the Vaseline, so just gonna use about two for the aquifer too. Now, am I sure this is the right measurements? No. Is this what we're doing though? Yes. Yes, we are. So that's the up. Oh. And then we said about, we just put in like a smaller spoon. Beats me if that's really a teaspoon. Okay. Okay. Zipping up all my stuff here. And then I'm going to mix the Vaseline over there. And I'm a little upset that I didn't have as much glycerin in it as I thought. So I'm pretty sure I'm about to pour this glycerin into the Vaseline while I'm mixing. And so yeah, so that should be getting warm. You know what though? I don't even want to really mix the two things, but I am. Because I don't have another mixer and we're definitely not cleaning it before we mix them. So it's just going to have to be what it means. All right, I'm gonna take this water and glycerin out the pot for a second so that we can put this one in oh, the light. This is the aquaphor and the, and the emulsifying wax. So we're gonna put that into the pot and let that start to melt. And then while it's doing that, we're gonna go back to mix, mixing our Vaseline lotion. And we're gonna pour the rest of this glycerin in there because I definitely wanted it in there, so. Um, the bowl is still hot though, so it's definitely not that solid. But I'll let you get closer. Oh, that's terrible. Like I said, this takes a while. Honestly, sometimes I mix it as much as I can. And then I, for some reason, I often do this right before I'm taking a shower when I desperately need it. And, um, yeah, I mix it and then I, um, I remember that this was aquaphor. Then I take a shower so that by the time I come back, it's usually ready. Right, this is the aquaphor and uh, emulsifying wax, so it's almost melted. Melts a little more. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to mix. I don't know. I don't think about it. But what if I can't use aquaphor? What if I'm allergic to it? So maybe I will just mix the Vaseline, which is the one already. sit there. I could whisk it, which I think. Wix the aquaphor mixture for a while. I don't know. Alright, still not congealed yet, I see. But yes, basically I'm just going to end up mixing and mixing. So in a little bit, I'm going to put those two together, the aquaphor and the glycerin and water. And then maybe I'll let everybody sit and cool down a little bit. 
um, and I maybe make a short or something and just show me like piping it out into the lotion bottles. Cause this does take some time. Also, I need to move this off the stove because it's not gonna cool on a stove that is hot. So I'm gonna move this over here. Mix this for a little bit, then I'm gonna mix the aquifer, and then yeah, then I'm gonna start letting them sit. And the other part is while it's mixing, it's hot, like just the act of me mixing it. This gets a little warm, so the mixture gets warm. And that's my favorite part when it turns white because if you watch when I use the shea butter and the mango butter I think I did mango but I'm not sure it that it didn't turn white right away because why didn't it turn white I guess it just I don't know why <laughs> you mix this one more time and then I'm gonna move to this one but I can see that this is a little more yellow this is, is like a yellow tint, and this one is definitely pure white back there. I'm gonna mix this a little bit and then I'm gonna <laughs> stop the live and let these two sit and keep mixing and mixing until they start to get harder but it doesn't stay moisturizing so that's what I don't like about it so I wonder if the aquifer will be a little bit more moisturizing but just like the Vaseline this is super hot to touch this is starting to get hard because you can see the bubbles in it the light always messes us up but there's like bubbles that it forms as it's getting harder. And that's why you kind of mix it to make everything like uniforms. 
because the part that's bubbling is getting harder and the underneath part is liquidy. pretty much the process these both have to cool in order for them to get hard so um i'm gonna spend like probably i don't know i feel like the next 30 minutes or so going back and forth between like mix mixing them and letting it cool for a little bit mixing it letting it cool mixing it letting it cool that type of thing so yeah but that's pretty much it then i'll try to do like a short or even like a little you know like a quick video or something to show you how they both turned out i did make a short already hey shima how are you i did make a short already for the vaseline but just so you can see the final touches so yes these bowls need to cool and the mixture itself needs to cool for it to get hard that takes some time so usually like i said i usually have to do this before a shower so by the time i get out the shower it's cool like i need it to cool i may also switch so two things i might do um what is one thing okay usually towards the end i stop mixing with the blender and i start like flipping it with this to kind of like mix everybody together oh thank you um and then let me just use this as a fan <laughs> and then um yes yeah, so i start blending everybody together the last thing i have to put in when everybody is cool which is usually when i use this anyway is a very little bit of the preservative which i use this one just because i saw that it was in my lotion that i was already using i have no idea what it's called phenoxithenol is what it's called i have no idea but i usually put a little bit in this and as you can see this container is full and i've made like five lotions so yeah you're only putting in like very 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 little bit i don't even think it's like a teaspoon size like you put in a very very little bit and that's just to keep it from to make it last because the fact that we put water in it and you know stale water goes bad so yeah so that's will be the last step and then i'll be flipping it with this to kind of mix this in but it ha everything has to be cool because if not this the preservative won't have any effect I feel like I'm saying the wrong name. Like it's not called a preservative for lotion, but I could be wrong. I don't know. But yes, so these are how these are looking. I'm going to show you one more time, and then I hope you all have a good night. So this one doesn't have as much bubbles yet because it's super hot. This one has some bubbles in it, so I know that it's getting harder, and then it gets hard. And if push comes to shove and it looks like it's not getting as solid as I want, then sometimes I go back, melt a little bit more Vaseline, and put that in there. So, yes, that is how I do it. We're going to try out the Aquaphor and see if we like it and see if we like how it works. Stay tuned because I have to do my three-year update. I was telling Shay's the stage we got to do her update, Saya's lock update, because all of our locks have changed so much. I feel like there's more than mine, but... I don't know. But yes, hopefully we'll do that soon. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll definitely try to give you a video so you can see the final touches. And then I'm just going to put them in the lotion bottles that I got from Amazon. So it usually fills up this, but sometimes I have a little bit more left over. So usually it fills up this. Sometimes I have more and I kind of just like keep it in the refrigerator until I use enough of this where I can scoop it in. Only because, again, with my sensitivities, one time I switched and used a different bottle and I started breaking out from it. <laughs> so I try to only use these bottles. And then so if it's not in this bottle, then I keep it like in that container, cover it with plastic wrap, wrap in a refrigerator until I'm ready for it. All right. But I have work to do. And I'm sure you all want to have a good night. But I appreciate you logging in. Hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, don't forget to like. And subscribe if you're interested. If you're already subscribed and you already gave me a thumbs up, 
Thank you so much. Until next time, good night, Shades of Sage. Adios.